What's up? This is Mike Gilbert, and today I'm in the hot seat on CCS TV. Road Less Traveled originally was an idea that Jamie and I came up with after Ride the Sky and traveling to so many rad locations, but it never really being represented in a video project how we, how we thought it could be. Typically, skate videos kind of just highlight a specific rider and just the tricks that they do. And it doesn't really tell much of a story. It's just kind of like trick, 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 boom, that's the end. Where with this project, we wanted to kind of show more of what's going on behind the scenes. Every individual, it's just like, they're just unique and they add that piece that just makes it all work. And Tommy's piece is just like nonstop, blow your damn mind. like. He's going to get out there and get his and do whatever it takes and you're not going to be able to stop him. You tell him no, it's just going to make it like go even harder, so dude's insane. Slash on the road is just, he's just, it's non-stop like energy, anxiety, everything's just like go, 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 like you're sitting there for two minutes, that's two minutes too long. Like what are we doing? What are we doing? I mean, just, I mean let's get going. I mean, I love the dude. It's like, it keeps it going, it keeps it interesting. It's just never boring with him. He's got a great sense of humor and he'll try and make the best out of any situation. And if he's not gonna make the best out of any situation, he's just gonna bounce. You're not gonna see him, he's just gone. Thailand, hands down, was the favorite. Just the people, the spots. I mean, the lifestyle, everything was just rad about that place. Like, it's one of those places that I'd be like, yeah, I'd definitely go back and just hang out. I wouldn't live there, but I'd definitely go back. You know, once in a great while, you want to jump over a couple of his band seats and start choking him out in the back because he's just being so bitter. But at the same time, that bitterness can just flip the whole scene around and turn a miserable situation into the funniest situation ever. He's probably done the most stuff in the entire project and it was just, just Dane skateboarding. There's not like a build up to it. Like he's like, oh, I'm gonna do this and all this hype. No, it's just Dane going and he's gonna go skateboard. And it's, that's just, it's just amazing to watch. And he's driving the van, he's making business calls while we're in Turkey. I mean, he's just, dude has a lot going on and to get out there and still rip and still try and you know, skate with all these young bucks, it's just, it's mind blowing. Like how, how much this dude has going on and that he still manages to go on all these trips, skate his ass off, and come home, you know, and still maintain the business. That drive has taken us to all these places. That's why we're, in a sense, there, you know? So, much respect, the dude is gnarly. He's just gnarly in all fronts. September 30th, you can catch the first three parts on Trans World, which will be the intro, Istanbul, and Portugal, each available for 48 hours at a time. A DVD will be available sometime in late October, which will have tons of bonus material, extras, a booklet to go for anybody that wants to hard copy and be able to hold that in their hands. <laughs>